you found me. Now the lesson begins. The definition of form is a 3D or three-dimensional shape that has height, width and thickness. When we use this in our art, it gives our artwork depth and perspective. We also learn about forms in our mathematic classes and our examples are spheres, cubes, cylinders, cones, pyramids and others. Just as with our shapes, both our geometric and our organic shapes, when we put our forms together, we can also create pictures and sculptures. Let's have a look at some simple examples. Our ice cream is a cone and two spheres. The pyramid, as you know and can see, is a pyramid. And of course here we have a diamond ring using the diamond shape. Now we're going to look at texture. Texture is used by artists to show how something may look, feel or to show what it is made of. Let's have a look at these pictures and see how using shading or our art elements we can create the feel or look of a surface. By using short curvy lines we've created the look of a soft curly hair. If we look at the skin on the face there are no blemishes it gives the impression of being smooth. However look at the cat. The short Strong lines create the cat's fur and give a texture of also feeling soft. When we go to the tiles, the squares, if you have a look there's a light shading in there that's to give a sort of a smooth but not completely smooth texture. The walls, the dots on the walls create a little bit of a rough look and make us feel that if we ran our hand along the wall we'd feel those prickles of a wall. The duster, the feathers, they're soft by using short sharp lines it gives the feathery look and we imagine that if we touch the duster it would be soft. When we look at the wood and the glass there are two boxes that are the same, two rectangles that are the same but to make the glass we just used a few light lines and that gives the impression that that's see-through. However, with the wood, we used little circular, circular and straight, uneven lines to create the look of the wood. When we go down to the cacti, we've used lines, also not straight, perfectly straight, and little sharp, short lines to create the prickles. And the thought of hugging that cacti or touching it does not appeal to me. We have two trees here. The top tree We've used tiny little circles for leaves and we've used the scribbling shading for the leaves on the second tree. Both give different looks and the feel of different textures. If we go to the fish, we've used the bump bump pattern that you did in grade one or two and that gives us the feel and the look of scales. If we come down to the rough cloth, using those little very thin lines, very close together and also not straight. It gives the appearance of a roughly woven cloth and the little pieces of um, thread hanging out shows that it's unfinished, it's not a neat piece of uh, material. When looking down at our broom bristles, they're short, they're sharp, they're quite even and they look like that broom is a softish broom but will do a good job. Now the challenge is I want you to design a modern day pyramid using the elements of art and the principles of design. However, because it's modern day, you can choose any form and any texture to put onto your own pyramid. You will need an A4 white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and you can use any colors you choose. Here is a picture of what the pyramids look like today. Thank you.